In these videos I use chemicals that can cause burns and respiratory problems. If you are to replicate any of the experiments shown in my videos, please do so in a fumud or outside and please wear suitable gloves when handling acids. Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. In today's video we're going to be separating some gold and silver from some jeweler's waste from a local jeweler. I'm doing this as a bit of a favour for him. And uh, you might have noticed that I'm no longer using the AI voice, or not today in this video anyway. One of the most things commented on my videos is the use of the AI voice, and now some people don't like it. So I'm going to have a go at doing it with my own voice, and we'll see what happens. Let's uh, drop some comments in the uh, comment section. Let me know whether you feel like the AI voice is better or my own voice. And uh, I'll make a decision after this video, I think. So let's get started. I'm going to put some nitric acid into this uh, already turned into shot material, uh, as you can see. And we'll separate the gold from the silver. Put about 20 ml of nitric acid in there, uh, we'll leave it to do its thing and see what happens. The reaction's taken a while to get started, so I've added a little heat. Hopefully that'll kick things off. What I'm hoping to achieve from this video is a new way of dealing with silver chloride. So once I've separated the material, my plan is to dissolve the silver uh, precipitate silver chloride with some hydrochloric acid, dissolve the silver chloride in ammonia and then precipitate it again with vitamin C. First we have to get the material separated, hence we sitting in nitric acid. I'm doing the refined as a bit of a favour for, for a local jeweller. Um, he was telling me that he has to pay... 20% when he takes it to his local refinery so if he if the, at the local refinery they recover uh, five grams of gold they take a gram so I says I'll do them I'll do it for free I'll get a video out of it and uh, he gets all of his material back a couple of minutes in a little tiny bit of heat and the reaction's really taking off so I've turned the heat back off and we'll just leave it to react and I'll go and make myself a cup of tea. If anybody across the pond is uh, curious as to whether we are actually big tea drinkers, here is my one pint measuring jug and here is my cup of tea. I'm going to enjoy that. So the reaction's been going for over half an hour, nearly 45 minutes. So I think it's time to pour this one off and get some fresh solution in there. Again, I'll leave that to react and then get back to you once that's finished. The second ball's complete. There's no more reaction from the nitric acid. So, I think... get it washed off we'll make some aqua regia and start dissolving that gold
So here we have a silver nitrate solution, which in a minute I'm going to put some, uh, I was going to use sodium, I was going to use hydrochloric acid, uh, but I think I'm going to use some uh, table salt. And here we have a remaining gold, looks like a fairly decent amount. So I'm going to throw some uh, hydrochloric acid in there and some potassium nitrate and see if we can get that dissolved. Almost immediately, getting a very vigorous reaction uh, with the aqua regia as the gold goes into solution. I'll leave it to do its thing and uh, I'll get the silver precipitated with some uh, sodium chloride while we wait. For this reaction, I've come back inside. Um, silver chloride is photosensitive, meaning it will react with sunlight. And what I don't want to happen is the silver chloride turn to silver before I have a chance to dissolve it in ammonia. I've filtered the solution. Table salt. Hot water. allow it to dissolve. You can use tap water for this um, as you're precipitating a chloride salt anyway. Any chloride in the water won't be a problem. We'll just add your sodium chloride to your solution. And there we go. Next step is to wash the silver chloride. This is done to remove any copper that may be in the solution. And it's just a case of rinse and repeat. Silver chloride is insoluble in water, but it is soluble in ammonia. So, as I said before, the plan is to dissolve all this silver nitrate, uh, silver chloride, sorry, in ammonia and precipitate pure silver metal using ascorbic acid or vitamin C, otherwise known as vitamin C. So here I've got some household ammonia. Um, as you can see here, uh, ammonia 5 to 9.5%. It takes 75 mil to dissolve 25 grams of silver chloride. I know there's not 25 grams here, but I'll add the 75 anyway. Seems like there may have still been a little bit of copper in there. Copper turns blue in the presence of ammonia. And you just want to add a little bit of stirring. 
a bit of gentle stirring just to dissolve it a little quicker you don't need to add any heat um, this will dissolve in room temperature ammonia it was taking a bit too long to dissolve all that silver chloride so I filled up the jug to the 250 mark and it seems to have uh, dissolved everything pretty quickly within a couple of minutes all the silver chloride was dissolved so what I have is a solution of what's known as diamine silver which is just silver chloride dissolved in ammonia I'll get that filtered out and then we'll throw some uh, ascorbic acid in there and get the uh, silver precipitated So we've got our silver. And our gold. To precipitate the silver we've got ascorbic acid and to precipitate the gold we've got ferrous sulfate. Add a bit of hot water to each. And give them a bit of a mix. Add a bit of stirring for the silver. Pour in the ascorbic acid. And then just leave it to uh, mix. Make sure it's all precipitated. There we have it, we have beautiful gold and beautiful silver. Leave these to settle and then we'll clean them up and get them melted. That's the silver and the gold, they're both cleaned up and they are ready to melt. For the melt I'll be using the microwave furnace. It'll be done in eight minutes. Let's pop it in. Ta-da. Eight minutes. The gold's melted, hopefully. We'll uh, let it cool down. I'll get it cooled off and then uh, I'll throw the silver in and do the same again. While the silver's cooking, let me show you uh, what, how much gold we uh, recovered. It's a lovely little button.
Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I've taught you a new way of dealing with silver chloride which I think would be perfect for separating silver and palladium from this sort of material. Let's get some weights. So from all of that 20 grams I started with we have 9.3 grams on the silver and 5.4 grams on the gold. Don't forget to let me know in the comments whether you prefer my own voice or whether you prefer the AI voice. And I'll see you on the next video.